So a popular question in SMMA is what service do I offer and to what industries or companies do I offer that service to? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can offer email marketing services from knowing nothing about email marketing to fully understanding how to run and scale an email marketing campaign to local businesses, e-commerce companies, and really the process is different but similar in the way that it's structured for most companies that you're gonna be offering these services to. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get right into my computer and start building this email marketing campaign from scratch. Step one is creating incentive or basically something digital that somebody can download that's the reason for them signing up for the newsletter if people don't have an incentive then likely they're never going to sign up so for this example we're going to use my agency and using it as a funnel for people to see this on an ad or organic content and then sign up to my agency's newsletter so that I can nurture them to be a client we'll talk a little bit about that down the road but essentially I'm giving people 75 hooks to 3x their revenue and so in this I've put in 75 hooks as well as um, some different email marketing subjects that you can use and so what's next I have a call to action here at the bottom but this is the PDF that we're going to use uh, and by the way I'm using a Canva Pro subscription which is I think $12.99 I could be wrong but it's very cheap you could also do this completely for free um, this is just my branding kit so anyway once we have that incentive we're going to use the share here download and then save as a PDF standard. And once we download that, I'm not gonna download because I already have it. But once we download that, we're going to move into step two. So now using MailChimp, we're going to go into uh, the all campaigns here and we're going to create a campaign. And then the one that you're going to do is landing page or building a landing page. It's then going to take you to the editor. I'm gonna go ahead and go into uh, to my landing page right now that I've already edited. But essentially it's got a bunch of templates that you can use. You're basically going to just take which structure you like and then mix and match the photos within that um, so that it can just match your brand identity and then obviously give you know a call to action for you know signing up for the newsletter so for example this is my landing page that I've got live right now uh, again people are reinsured that this is the right landing page because I'm saying get 75 engaging hooks for 100% pre free all you have to do is enter your email address your first name and there are a couple different things you could put in here like see on the right side there's last name address phone number you know I, if you're gonna add another one I might add a birthday because you know sending a, a happy birthday email is very valuable for for you know brand loyalty but essentially it's just a quick little three page thing here I've got a quick little graphic I made in, in Canva as well just making it more aesthetically pleasing and then a call to action download which is just going to take them back up to the top here so once you have this and once you've built this out like I said it can only really be one page you, you don't have to make it some elaborate thing like this um, there's multiple templates that you can use within MailChimp and by the way a lot of email marketing softwares use the same kind of template kind of thing that you can use like constant contact Clavio um, trying to think of another one but but those are similar very similar landing page builders that will let you create anything like this I just use MailChimp because I think it's the most user-friendly but once this is live you hit save and publish and then once it's published you actually have the link right here so MailChimp will generate a specific link for uh, for your landing page so clicking on it this is the whole live thing here now you have your landing page which is a very good step the next is step three so step three going back into MailChimp is creating a customer journey so pretty much what you're going to need to do is go into on the left side here where it says automations go to all journeys and then you're going to build from scratch so pretty much what this is doing is as soon as somebody signs up you're ensuring them uh, that they are going to get that email that they're going to get that PDF when they sign up so for MailChimp you will need uh, an essential plan which includes includes four journey points, which I think for MailChimp, it is also like 1099. Then again, there are other free marketing softwares out there that you can do. I actually just canceled this account because I'm using a different one. This is kind of like my burner account that I'm using for MailChimp. So I don't actually have a plan on there, but it stays the same where this is going to uh, apply no matter what. So, so this right here is pretty much just saying that this journey starts when a contact signs up to our form. So uh, you can get more specific here. You can edit the filter. Pretty much uh, you can give a segment the sign up source can be the landing page here um, and then you know there's a bunch of things you can add in here but this is the 75 hooks landing page that I made make sure that, that is selected because uh, if people are just signing up from all sorts of landing pages you're not necessarily going to segment them and that's very important especially if you have multiple things running at once so we're gonna save that make sure that that is actually starting when the journey point uh, with, with the journey point we want that to start with people signing up now once they sign up we're going to create an email which we're gonna actually go ahead and and create and build right now but essentially what this is gonna do is uh, welcome them to the email newsletter say thank you for signing up here's your 75 hooks uh, and it's pretty simple so I'm gonna go ahead and build this out really quick So 
So essentially now once we, you know, welcome them, we say, hey, you know, click the button to claim your uh, engaging hooks. We're going to add a button. So I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, pretty much all we're going to do here is go to the block section, enter a button. Uh, and a lot of people get confused on this step, but it's really nothing crazy. All we're going to do is change the download now. Uh, and then we're going to send them to a file. So this is the part where a lot of people uh, can get confused. So with the file, we're going to upload um, our engaging hooks. So now that it is attached to the file, uh, we can save and close it. Well, actually, we're going to change the style. We'll make sure that it looks aesthetically pleasing, that it's like, you know, with the with the brand guidelines and that you're not like, you know, looking really whack. And I know this is not the exact purple that I use, uh, but it's pretty close. So we're going to hit download there. And then once they have that, honestly, you're good. So save and return to journey. And once people sign up, they get this immediately. So to make sure that they get this immediately, but we're not done yet. We have to make sure um, that these settings in here are set to the right uh, the right thing. So uh, the email subject is going to be uh, pretty much your your hooks are here, something along those lines. That's kind of cheesy. You don't have to do anything like that, but like uh, something that you know ensures them that this is they're they're in the right place, that their hooks are there, and that all they have to do is download schedule pretty much every day as soon as possible. Make sure that these are clicked. You know, for different email journeys, the the uh, they can be sent at different times. If if you want to optimize the sending time, whether it's a different campaign leading to a different journey point, anything like that is going to be redirected, uh, and that these are going to be changed up. But if you want somebody to get an email as soon as they sign up, make sure that this is uh this is the uh, the the way that you have it here. So once we have this, uh, make sure that it's to their email address it's from you know your name email address uh, we would then hit close and then we would upgrade to continue so for some email softwares they'll have you upgrade to continue like MailChimp it is very cheap like I said like 999 1099 something along those lines but if you wanted to go with the free option you can definitely explore other email marketing softwares I just use this one because it's the easiest to use and in my opinion it's worth the 1099 so then we would launch so now that we have the incentive we have the landing page we have the customer journey now we go to step four step four is just creating organic social media content or page traffic content to upload to Instagram, Facebook ads, uh, YouTube, even like you could, you could create a video saying like, you know, uh, here's how these 75 hooks helped my business change forever. And then you could link in the description to your landing page to get people to sign up. But this is something that I created a while ago. Uh, this special offer 50% sale doesn't really matter, but this is something that I could post on social media. It's set in the format of a Facebook ad. So all you'd have to do here is share, download and then download as an mp4 video because there's some animations and then you're pretty much done so once you have your incentive your landing page your customer journey and you create social media content to go towards the landing page which starts the journey you have a full email marketing campaign on your hands and you've pretty much done it uh, in less than an hour because like I said something like this can take an hour two hours really just depends on how much time you put into it and how good you want it to be but an email marketing campaign doesn't have to be this huge thing that you know people dread making people dread creating it really just depends on your ability to get the ball rolling and once you create a landing page you're going to want to create a customer journey I mean you guys saw how quick it was for me to create that that uh, customer journey email you know if a client has you do this it'll really take you anywhere from one hour to five hours depending on how big the journey is you know what the what the goals of the campaign are but you can see the value in adding something like this to somebody's business because building a newsletter is super super valuable there's multiple revenue streams that can go within it and you can nurture them you know going back to that customer journey to, you know, adding four or five steps, you know, maybe it's something like customer testimonials, maybe it's something like I'm offering a special deal, but you pretty much nurture them from one, you know, the landing page they sign up to then being a client. So for me, I would probably create a three to five step uh, series telling them about customer testimonials, um, what I do, my history, some good client success stories, uh, and then you'd get a client. But for e-commerce clients, for restaurants, you know, it can be a little bit different, but this is pretty much the basic setup that I wanted you to learn because a lot of people, like I said, when they go into email marketing, kind of have this idea that email marketing is this huge giant that I can't tackle. It's not true at all. It's very, very easy. And I hope this video gave you some insight as to how a beginner can start email marketing campaigns uh, pretty much from scratch. So thank you so much for watching. If you did stay to this point, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.